Hi friends, it's Julia. Thanks for stopping by my channel for Christmas in July Day 2. Uh, here I am, I'm just going through um, the papers that I pulled out from my mini kit, um, the paper pad, as well as some cardstock that I had in my generic portion of the kit. I had pulled in tons of 8.5 by 11, as well as some 12 by 12s, plus tons of scraps to go in my generic bins. And I'll have the um, original video with all the information um, down below, so you can click over to that uh, and see the inspiration kit if you haven't already watched that video. You can see I did this as a quitty pr quitty prick. <laughs> As a pretty quick process, I went through and I selected my papers and then I cut them down. Um, I went ahead and um, did the cutting down process ahead of time only to save myself some time on recording and editing later. It wasn't, I mean, you guys know what it looks like to cut paper down and to make paper selections. And sometimes that can take me a bit longer as I'm sorting through. But I kind of sort of had the papers picked out um, before I showed you this already cut out process. And I, I want to say the sketch was um, off of Christy Marcotte's, one of her blog posts, off of one of her Christmas paper, uh, the paper pad um, Christmas videos that she puts out. Um, sorry, I didn't keep track of the, the sketches that I used from her blog, but or from her YouTube site, but they're all there. Um, if you pop over to her channel and go to her playlist, you can find um, the Christmas card um, playlist. And so you can see um, just the edge of that paper had a bit of a rough border and I was just trimming it down some. I really needed to change my trimmer blade, but for some reason I just opted not to. Um, I'm putting some of those cut apart tags onto uh, the uh, cardstock. Uh, like I said, I'm just backing it with some cheaper cardstock, nothing fancy here, and trimming it down. And you can see I'm making two cards here, and that's pretty much what I'm going to do. Um, rather than just make one card at a time, I find it much easier to make two cards at a time. And so that's what I do. With these, you can see I pulled out that close to my heart um, ink pad, and I'm using it to. Um, ink up the edges of the uh, pattern paper on the background as well as the card pieces. These pieces here that are just some pieces of uh, tan card stock, um, I didn't bother inking the edges to those. I maybe should have, but I chose not to. Following the same format for both of these cards, nothing fancy here. Um, I'm not creating rocket science here. I'm just, you know, following along with the sketch and using what I have as far as the mini kit that I created as well as the generic embellishments that I have pulled in. Um, so far, everything I've used is from the mini kit with the exception of the card stocks that is from the generic um, kits that I pulled in. I'm liking how these look all by themselves. They're pretty plain, they're pretty simple, but they're also pretty effective as far as um, Christmas cards go. They work. These are paper bows that I'm adding here um, and because they're paper bows they can uh, go into a regular envelope and they'll they'll smash flat to mail. And you know most Christmas cards that I make I do it with the idea that they are probably going to be thrown away. Um, so I don't mind um, if they get a little smashed or a little bumped in the envelope. It's okay. Um, there I'm adding some overly large sequins um, that were in one of the kits. And woohoo, I got to the end of a um, roll of glue dots and I actually had to use an additional roll. Um, and there I'm just adding in some bling into the middle of those sequins because they are so large. Um, I added on a little extra embellishment there beside the, um, oh, what do you call him? The Nutcracker guy. I added on another little embellishment tag there. Um, I'm showing you what I'm going to use to stamp out. This is close to my heart stamps. Um, and I just go through and 
On this one, I just stamped right directly on the front of the envelope where it's got the to and the from. Uh, on the tag, I just stamped Merry Christmas right over that. Or Seasons Greetings or whatever that says. <laughs> Sorry, I can't read it at this point. Um, no glasses on my face. Just a little uh, sticker embellishment that I had in my generic stash that I added on there. And you can see I go through and I stamp out my cards um, as well as the uh, envelopes and call it good. Um, nothing fancy. Again, like I said, this isn't rocket science. This is making Christmas cards and I make them in bulk. Um, I, my initial thought process when I started this was to make 50 or 60 Christmas cards um, before December. And I managed to get all of that done. And I like to dress up a little bit. You know, I like to have the envelope stamped. I like to have um, additional stuff on the inside. Um, I just like to go through that process. So using a couple of pre-made card bases there, the card front that I have um, created, I just glue right to that. Anyway, thanks for sticking around. Thanks for watching my video, and I hope I inspired you to get into your stash and create something with it. Anyway, you guys have a great day, and I'll see you on the next video. Bye-bye.